uh, emails. I haven't followed it. Matt Schlapp is chairman of the American Conservative Union and former White House political director for President George W. Bush. Marianne Marsh is former senior advisor to John Kerry. Welcome. Great to have you guys here. Great to be uh, here. Good morning. Live and in person. You. You're like, know, you're a real person. I know. It's so fun to see <laughs> Marianne not, sure in, in, not in the box. There you go. Um, so Hillary Clinton doing a, a bit of a Sergeant Schultz there. I know nothing. <laughs> I, seen, I, don't, I don't know anything about this. She said, how is that possible? Well, of course she doesn't know anything about it. They're not her emails. But the fact is... Debbie Wasserman. But she's heard about this. Of course she has. And of course she knows Kerfuffle. about it. And of course she knew that Debbie Wasserman Schultz had to resign yesterday because the fact is it became about Debbie Wasserman Schultz and not about Clinton Kane. Think about it. Just not even 24 hours before, out comes Tim Kane, the VP pick. An amazing event in Miami. He did an incredible job. Yet all everyone's talking about is Debbie Wasserman Schultz. If a change was going to be made, probably should have been four years ago, not four months before the election. But here we are. She had to go. But the bottom line is that the emails reveal that there was, there was the thumb on the scale towards Hillary Clinton and away from Bernie Sanders. Why not just address that head on in that interview? Why not say, you know what, I'm not okay with that. And that's why we're making this change. Not, I think two things. First of all, anything that was said in those emails shouldn't have been said. And nothing was really done that really helped her. The fact is, she comes out into this election, into this convention, with 300 more electoral votes. Nothing the DNC did helped her in that respect. Those were just votes by people primary states and caucuses. She won outright. So nothing they did actually helped her in that respect, but the emails and all that absolutely should okay. not have been done. What do you think, Matt? Oh, I think this is a big problem. First of all, they have an <laughs> FEC problem because they were illegally coordinating with the DNC and they got the campaign received benefits and they did not disclose those benefits. So oh. she's already going to have to have these filings refiled. She's giving the same answer on these emails that she gave on the other emails. I don't know what you're talking about. What is this? The fact is, is we're probably going to read more about these emails. And here's the fundamental problem for Hillary Clinton and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was doing her bidding. They lied, and they lied over and over again. Every time they went on television and they looked in your eyes and they said, oh, we're just the, we're, we, we, we are an unbiased party in all this. You know, we're being fair. Think about what Reince Priebus had to do with those 17 candidates. And they were in the bag for Hillary from the beginning, and it's a huge problem. It's a huge political problem. It is now a legal problem, and it is an FEC problem. But, but, but that extension, Matt, then is that why Donald Trump's not releasing his taxes? Will we find that he was financed nice by Russians and others? Nice pivot. Uh, and, and, nice, and, and, and nice maybe pivot. that's why those, those details aren't out there. No, no. So, I mean, that's, no. that's an equivalency there that I'm happy to argue. Let me just say that this is going through all of these emails. I think we're actually what we're going to find is more indications that the DNC was doing everything it could for Hillary Clinton. Uh, when you say that she earned those delegates, the fact is the DNC was helping her win no, those. They, and that's why you're going to have no, a near riot on this no, floor. First of all. Hillary Clinton won those votes, and that's, I think, with the Sanders people. I mean, I think that the, if there's a story here, it's whether the Sanders folks are going to be happy. That's right. That's and exactly we right. saw that that is the story. Florida delegation this morning. They've gotten everything they've asked for in the platform. They got Debbie Wasserman Schultz's job gone. They've gotten everything, and yet there seems to be more and more demands. Bernie Sanders is speaking tonight. It's a big progressive night, a big lineup like that. Bernie Sanders says he's with Hillary Clinton. I have no doubt about that. But there are constant disclaimers about whether he can actually get his supporters lined up. And I think that's the problem. Can you ever make the Sanders delegates happy? Uh, and that's a I think, about she's make, I think, Matt, she's making the larger point here, yeah, right. and that is Hillary Clinton's team is worried about not attracting Bernie Sanders voters, Gotta bring them period. In. And they're and trying. And they should be, and she had been trying to do everything she could to get them on board. I think this aggravates things substantially, because what's the one thing Bernie Sanders wanted more than anything else? He just wanted fair treatment, and he didn't get that. Oh, well. and it's very clear that he didn't get that. He actually has a rather substantial beef to make, and I think if you look at all these polls, where these types of voters are going to go, people who are attracted attracted to Bernie Sanders, I think that they are moving further away from Hillary Clinton. The, the you Sanders, also have, you have to wonder also, you know, in terms of the VP pick, is she going to wish that she had gone another route? Because if, if, I, if there's an anticipation that perhaps you're going to have a Bernie Sanders love fest out there, and he's going to be the reluctant guy saying, no, I'm with Hillary. You guys have to be with Hillary, too. And that's just going to make them more, you know, warm outpouring to, to Bernie Sanders, I think. I think if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter and you call yourself a progressive, you can't possibly be with Donald Trump, right? I mean, what is a little more disturbing to me at this point is someone like Cornel West, but they can, who was they, on the platform, Marianne, wrote they the can, platform, they, and endorsed Jill Stein. They can and will be a major headache, at least today and tomorrow. And I hope that changes. Marianne, thank you. Thanks, Phil. Also, to see you, Marianne. Marianne. Always right? forward to seeing you.